Simplifying fractions is something you're going to need to do with any fractions question that you get in your level 2 maths functional skills and it will also be relevant to probability questions as well. So in this video I'm going to show you how to simplify fractions. So what is a simplified fraction? Simply put, haha, <laughs> see what I did there? It's a fraction shown in its most basic form. So for example 50% we, if we think of that as being half of something you can write a percentage as 50 out of 100 if you put it in fraction form because essentially that's all percentages it's just a fraction that's out of 100 and you can then obviously simplify that to one half obviously we wouldn't show half as 50 out of 100 we'd simplify it to a half so how do we go around doing that well there's three things that you're probably going to want to try first of all you can divide your top and bottom numbers by whatever your top number is so for example 50 and 100 50 out of 100 divide both of those by whatever your top number is and that will bring it down to its most basic form straight away so 1 over 2 if that doesn't work so when I say it doesn't work let's say we had an, a fraction that gave us 2.5 that means we can't do it because we can't have a decimal within a fraction what you might want to do is to try and convert the fraction into a decimal if you're happy with converting fractions to decimals you've got uh, 50 out of 100 that's basically divide your top number by the bottom so 50 divided by 100 equals 0.5 this is what we call a tenth so um, the first decimal place is called tenths so this is five tenths essentially so you can put that in its little fraction as five tenths so if that was 0.4 it'd be four tenths and so on and so on and at that point we can simplify that down by using the next method that i'm going to show you which is to divide it by two three five or seven this one we can divide both of those by five which will bring it down to a half now the next method that I just mentioned is to divide it by 2, 3, 5 and 7. You can potentially do it by 10 as well if you've got a 0 at the end of both of your numbers. Because uh, all you need to do if, if, to divide it by 10 is just knock a 0 off each one. But I'll just do it by 2, 3, 5 and 7 at this point. Uh, so if we've got 50 out of 100, we can divide both of those by 2 which gives you 25 out of 50. Uh, can we divide 25 by 2? No we can't do it by three either but we can do it by five and that will bring us down to five out of ten and then we can do the same again divide it by five and that brings us down to our half so those are the three methods you want to be trying when you do simplifying fractions you probably want to try uh, number one first then number two and if that one doesn't work so let's say you've got a decimal value that's got about five different decimal places it's not going to be worth doing that decimal method then try this one final method which is two three five and seven we've got some practice questions we're going to have a little look at now so what i want you to do is have a go at these questions and uh, pause the video and then in the comments i want you to let me know if you got all of these right and uh, if you've got any questions so if you've got them wrong and you're not sure ask them in the comments and i'll get back to you but pause the video and then i'll go over the working out okay so looking at this first question then in a recent math test 20 out of 32 students passed the test so what was that as a simplified fraction so essentially what we've got is 20 out of 32 uh, you can try and divide both of those by 20 so divide both by the top number uh, 32 will get it won't divide by 20 so you can't use that method i think it gives you 1.6 off the top of my head and then you would try the next method which is turn it into a decimal so if we look at turning that into a decimal we've got 20 divided by 32 that gives us 0 0.625 it is doable with that sort of method but it's going to be easier just to use your two three five and seven so discount that i'd re normally recommend that if it's just one decimal place but just do your two three five and seven so if we divide this particular fraction by two we've got 10 over 16 we can divide both of those by 2 as well which would give us 5 out of 8 and uh, can we do anything else with that one uh, so we can't divide both of those by 2 we can do the 8 but not the 5 we can't do either by 3 um, the only thing 5 can go by at this point is 5 and we can't do 8 by 5 so that's as far down as we can go Okay, so let's have a little look at the next question it says in a year two class 24 pupils out of 32 have school dinners so what's that as a simplified fraction 
So again, we'll start off with 24 this time out of 32. And we've got, um, can we try and divide both of those by 24? Well, we know 32 is not a multiple of 24. Um, so we can't do the top method or the first method, so divide both by the top. So can we turn both of these, uh, turn this into a decimal? Uh, we actually can, and we've got 0 0.75. So um, with that one, you can, if you're identifying that that's 75%, you could put it as 75%, and then um, if you're familiar with fractions, decimals, and percentages, 75% is uh, 0 0.75 which is three quarters. Alternatively, you can use that two, three, five, and seven method. So question three, in a recent math test, good old Gaz got 48 out of 80. What's his score as a fraction in its simplest form? So we've got 48 out of 80. Again, we can try dividing both of those by the top number. So if we did 80 divided by 48, gives us that. So that first method doesn't work. We can try and turn it into a decimal. So 48 divided by 80 gives us 0 0.6 so we have been able to bring that down to something we can deal with so six tenths and then we can halve that to three fifths easy as that or you could just go down the two three five and seven route with this one hopefully that makes sense as i say any questions do pop them down in the comments uh, hopefully you got all those right uh, but we do have some more practice exam questions so these have actually come from exam papers so have a go at these once and again let me know in the comments if you've got any questions but let's dive in what's 35 is a fraction of 490 give your answer in its simplest form so 35 out of 490 so the first method is try and divide both of these by whatever your top number is so uh, 35 divided by 35 is 1 490 divided by 35 equals 14. So that one works and just brought it right down to its simplest form. Again, you could have done the 2, 3, 5, and 7 method with that one uh, to bring you down to 1 in 14 as well. So let's have a look at this next one 75 out of 125. So Again, with that one, we can try and divide both by the top number. So 75 divided by 75 would be 1. The bottom one divided by 75 would be 1.6666666. So we're not going to do that one. So we can try and turn that into a decimal. So 75 divided by 1.25 gives us 0 0.6 again. So we can use the decimal method there, which we can say 6 tenths and then simplify it to 3 fifths. Uh, but alternatively, you could have used this 2, 3, 5, and 7 method, uh, and it would have brought you right down to, to 3 fifths. Final question then. What is 108 as a fraction of 648? So quite an interesting one, that one. Let's see uh, what we can do with that one. So can we divide it by the top number? We can, 6. So 108 divided by 108 is 1, 648 divided by 108 is 6. So dividing both by your top number has brought it down to its most simple form uh, straight away. You'll probably find you could use your 2, 3, 5 and 7 method there as well. So more often than not, the 2, 3, 5 and 7 method works, but these other ones are perhaps just quicker ways of doing it. But that's all you need to know for simplifying fractions. So do click on the video on screen now if you want to see the next topic. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one.